Hi family, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine today and it being the best of health. I'm going to read a scripture tonight from Psalms 91 and we are looking at the security of God. Yes, so before we get into the scripture, let us say a prayer quickly. Eternal God and our Father, Lord God, I welcome you, sweet Holy Spirit. Tonight, Almighty God, I pray, divine God, that your Holy Spirit will come and take control, Father. I pray that your Holy Spirit will come and dwell amongst us, rest amongst us, Father. Father God, I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and revelation and insight of your word, Father. I pray, divine God, that you will touch the heart, the marrow, and the intent of the heart, mighty God. I pray, divine God, that when this scripture go out there, Father God, whoever come across this platform will receive a word of encouragement. They will receive strength, Father God, inner strength. Mighty God, I pray, Father, for my listeners across the globe, Lord God, that you build an edge of protection around them. Remember your people, them in the four corners of the globe, Father, those that have been persecuted for righteousness' sake. Mighty God, I pray you put your hand of protection upon them, build an edge of protection around them in their going out and in their coming in, Father. Bless them, Father God. Breathe, be with them. Breathe upon them, sweet Holy Spirit of God, and abide with them, I pray. I hand them over to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. So let us read the scripture. It's Psalms 91 from the King James Version, and it, I'll read as follow. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler and from the nighsome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feather and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flight by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and other, the young lion and the dragon shall the trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on eye because he had known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the Lord. So this is a scripture that God um, gave us as a protection. The, the enemies, the security of God. When, you, when we trust in God, nothing can befall us. When we walk in his will, according to his commandment and his law and his status, nothing can um, attack us unless he allow it to. We are under his protection in our going out, in our coming in, in our sleeping, in our waking. Trust in God. Nothing can happen to you unless God allow it. Because sometimes God allow it to happen for you to go through a test. We all go through tests from time to time. Don't need to be afraid. Any concern, take it to the Lord in prayer. And always consult God when you have a concern or you have a problem or you worry about something. If you get a dream and you don't understand it, take it to God. Always consult God first. When we consult God, you have the answer. He's the, he, the only one who has the real answer. If we tell our friends, if we tell our brother, our sister, our husband, our wife, our uncle, our niece, our aunt, they will only tell us what they believe. 
yes and many times they tell us about it is the wrong advice for us when we have issues take it to the lord he will always answer us or send us a word in any means he can use any mean you can use it can be a word that you get in your thought it could be a word that you saw on the television it could be someone give you a message or so on and so on just god let us see what the summary said on here verse 1 to 16 it said under the shadow of the almighty these psalms express the security of those who fully trust in god it assures us that god will will be our refuge and that we may seek his protection in time of spiritual and physical danger always seek god this psalm offers security for the children of god those who committed themselves to the will and protection of the almighty and daily seek to dwell in god present the more fully we abide in christ and his word making him our life and our dwelling place the fuller we will be be in him and we will be at peace and the greater our deliverance in time of danger praise the lord praise the lord the, the forename of god is in this psalm describe different aspects of this of, of his protection most i show him to be greater than any <coughs> any any threat we face sorry Almighty emphasized his power to confront and destroy every enemies. The third assure us that his presence is always with us. Amen. My God expressed the, the trust that God has chosen and associate intimately with those who trust in him. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Nothing can happen to a faithful servant except by God's permission. Bless the Lord. This truth does not mean there will never be unpleasant or difficult times, but that as long as we make God our Lord and refuge in everything that happened to us, God will work for our good. Praise the Lord. God commissioned angels to watch carefully over the, the life and interests of the faithful, they take special note of all who seek continually to dwell in the presence of God, and they guard the body, soul, and spirit of those believers. The protection includes all our ways. There is no limit and long, as long as we walk in the shadow of the Almighty, they will they lift us up in our trouble and give us support as we face our spiritual enemies praise the lord praise god bless the lord here the lord himself addressed his faithful follower because they truly love him he himself permit 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 to come to their aid and time of trouble the secret of receiving god protection are in a heart that is intimately attached to the word of the lord and gratitude and affection he knows who such be believer are and he will be with them in trouble hear their prayer and give them life full of his divine presence and provision praise the lord <laughs> glory be to god hallelujah my brothers and my sister let us trust in the lord I'm not going to say you're not going to book your toe, because I have booked my toe many times. I'm not going to say you're not going to fall down, because I have fallen many times. But when we fall down and when we book our toe, let us get up now and let us run on the race that God has set us to run. This race is a spiritual race, it's not a physical race. Alright? So let us trust in God. Let us push on in prayer. Let us worship Him in spirit and in truth. Let us cast our cares upon him. Let us go to him with our problem instead of going to others who cannot help us. Let us lean on him and not, on our, not in our own understanding. Let us trust him in all our ways and he will direct our path. I hope you like my video. I hope you comment, like, share and subscribe. And if you have not given your life to the Lord yet, 
I hope you will do it soon and know that God is the only way. There's no other way. They used to sing a song say, He is the way, the only way. No other way but the way of the Lord. I don't remember it properly, so I won't sing it. He said, He is the way, the only way, the way of the Lord. I don't remember the song fully, but I remember just a little verse there. He is the way of the Lord. He is the only way. So if you haven't given your life to Jesus, believe me, He's the only one who really genuinely loves you. And no matter how you look at it, none of us is coming out of this life alive. Yes, and we will have to meet our master. All of our hurt and treasure will leave back here for our children and our family. What we are earning now. But let us focus on God. Yes, he died for us to have life and have it more abundantly. Let us seek him before it's too late. If you have not given your life to the Lord, pray with me. Just say, eternal God, I come to you today and confess that I am a sinner. I know that I have sinned against you and I repent of all my sins and all my unrighteousness. Lord, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you have died and you are raised again and you are sitting at the right hand of the Father. Father God, please come into my heart, come into my life, come into my soul from this day forward. Make a necessary change in me, Father, so I can serve you. Father God, I put my hand in your hand, and I'm asking you to lead me and to guide me and help me, Lord, as I walk each day. Teach me your will and let your will be done in my life as I look to you and I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you, but God love you more. All right? Be blessed for now. Bye-bye.